Hey Dave, be interested in your thoughts on what needs to happen to support everyone driving EVs. For example, what will services at the motorways need to do to support everyone driving EVs? Will we need huge car parks of chargers? Someone actually asked me this when looking at my car today and it made me think of it. Well, it's a really good question and, and the answer I've got for you is probably not what you're expecting. In my opinion at the moment, if you can't charge at home, you are at a serious disadvantage with an EV. There's no doubt about that. We don't hide it. There are sufficient people who can charge at home to make this uh, EV business a big success. So it's not a threat to the uh, ad adoption of EVs, but it is a ho uh, holding back. Now, for people who can charge at home, I charge here, for example, and I pay, pay seven and a half pence a kilowatt hour. Uh, that's a ludicrous price. The standard tariff is around about 27p at the moment. This is a quarter of the price electricity overnight. I top my car up every day yeah, as I need it. And my driving just using that is really, really cheap. However, as you know, if you're a regular viewer, new viewer we're telling you now we go out and we film so recently we've been down to Cornwall spent a few days down there and just last week we went up to, to Scotland uh, went and ended up uh, just just south of Glasgow uh, doing some filming so I actually go out on the road and do an awful lot of filming and for me, when I get out to a charger, um, I know the first thing I noticed, they're horrendously expensive. I've got a Tesla. So Tesla ones was I pay seven and a half P a kilowatt hour here. The Tesla ones are around about 30, 40 P off peak, about 50 odd P peak time. So 30, 40 P, it's dear, but it's not silly. When you get up to 79p like GridServe, Osprey, or 85p like uh, Instavolt and Shell, that's a real barrier to people charging out on the road. But if I charge all the time at home, and if, if I wasn't running the channel and I use my car normally, um, I probably wouldn't charge out on the road more than maybe three or four times a year. I'd go down and see my family. I've still got family in Swansea, got family in Cornwall, uh, I've got friends dotted around, uh, and I'd go out for those. And for going up to the lakes, for example, to um, friends of mine got a caravan up there, uh, I can get to the lakes and back on a single charge from home. So it's really cheap. But if I go down to Swansea, Swansea's about the limit of where I can go on a single charge. So when I get to Swansea, I have to charge. But if that was a pound a kilowatt hour, I would hate doing it, but in the scheme of things over the year, if three or four times a year I pay 20, 30, 40 quid to fill up the battery instead of six, it's not the end of the world to me. My overall motoring cost is really cheap, and so these odd journeys once in a while. It's a bit like going to the beach where you have to buy ice creams, and if it's a sunny day, you know those ice creams aren't going to be a quid anymore, they're going to be three or four quid. So we just accept that some of these things are going to happen. Now, for people who can't charge at home, they are totally dependent on charging um, publicly. And that's where I think is what's going to have to happen. It's going to have to change so we can make people who can't charge at home able to get access to chargers at the sort of prices that either Tesla charge or we get overnight here on the off-peak chargers. I don't know how to do it. Some of it will be um, curbside chargers uh, and councils are fitting these. But unfortunately, most of the councils are seeing this as a, as a moneymaker. Councils are strapped for cash and they see it as a moneymaker. And some of these curbside chargers, these are seven kilowatt chargers, really slow. It'll take you six, eight, 10 hours to charge your battery. And they're charging 50, 60, 70p a kilowatt hour. It's just a blatant ripoff. What needs to change, I think, is if we can get the councils to provide these chargers as a service to try and get ICE vehicles off the road to clean up the pollution in the air for the council. That's a benefit for them uh, and allow these roadside chargers to come down to a sensible price, 10, 20 pence a kilowatt hour. If we can do that, then first of all, people who can actually charge outside their home might be able to use these chargers at prices not a lot more than I currently pay and uh, for ones who can't park outside their house there will be access in public car parks at the same sort of rates for people to leave their car 
while they're shopping or while they're at work and actually take this charge. So that is the biggest change I see happening. There are thousands of uh, EV chargers going in. They're all ultra rapid. They're all 79p, GridServe, Instavolt, uh, Osprey. Everyone's fitting them. Tesla's installing them. Um, we're, we're getting to the point. We don't actually need very many more of these ultra rapids out on the road, apart from if you can't charge your home, that might be your way forward. I mean, for example, I saw some prices in Manchester recently. Um, these are fast chargers, roadside, so 7 kilowatts or 11 kilowatts maximum, and they're charging 70 pence a kilowatt hour. Come on, Andy Burnham, that's criminal. That is criminal. You can go to the Trafford Centre, go to a Tesla supercharger, open to all, and charge your car in 20 minutes uh, for 40 pence a kilowatt hour. Almost half the price of your fast charge. That has to change. Andy Burnham, you need to get your finger out and you need to get this changed. You can't profit at the expense of the poorer people who can't charge at home or can't um, afford the, um, the, the public uh, prices for EV chargers. So we need to see the fast chargers really cheap, readily available, and then that will be the biggest boom we can have. Any extra charges of motorway services, EV chargers, the ultra rapid, yeah, they're great. It just means we'll stop having queues if there are any. Uh, but for many places, I travel a lot, I never see queues. Well, thanks very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe and click the notification bell so we can notify you next time we launch a video. And a massive thank you to all our Patreon supporters. It is your support that enables us to go out and make these videos for you. So thank you very much for your contribution. I'm Dave. Has the Tesla, not the EV,